alta, Señor, en señal de que Puerto Rico se levanta, Padre. Te honramos y te bendecimos, Señor, porque sin ti, Señor, no lo hubiéramos hecho, Señor. Yo te pido, Padre, que seas tú, Dios mío, Señor, tomando control de este evento, Padre, y que tú bendiga nuestras vidas, bendiga al alcalde de esta ciudad, Padre, y a todos, Señor, los que están aquí, Señor, en este lugar. Te damos honra y te damos gloria en el nombre de Jesús. Amén y amén. Amén. Gracias. All right. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, really, this is a really terrific turnout on such short notice, and so uh, it's just so pleasing to see everybody here. Um, there's no occasion for this. This isn't, uh, we're here not to mark a particular holiday or an event uh, or an uh, a historical occasion. Um, we're here to stand in solidarity with our friends in Puerto Rico. That's why we're here today. And this is, in fact, this is the first time we've done uh, a flag raising like this. In my time as mayor, uh, we're usually raising a flag to, uh, uh, to an historical event, like a, uh, an Independence Day for a particular country. Um, this is all about uh, our effort to lend support to our friends. It is all about uh, our commitment to making sure that the people who are suffering right now And I know there are plenty of folks in our city and probably some people who are standing right there who have family back there who uh, you haven't been able to get in touch with. People need to know, America needs to know more about what happened and the plight of folks there. If we need to sensitize the entire country uh, about what's happening to their fellow Americans in Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico, as we all, all know, over the last few years has had financial difficulties, great financial difficulties to the point where schools have closed, government in certain places hasn't, hasn't functioned properly, where the, the island declared bankruptcy, the largest bankruptcy in U.S. history. It, it was in tough shape financially and struggling to get out of a hole already when this hurricane hit. Uh, and so we need all to step up. And thankfully, folks in New Bedford have done that time and time uh, again. And I, I just want to say, Thank you to everybody who has, who has done that, whether it's with uh, clothing drives or some of the food drives like the one we had at the police station uh, a couple of weeks ago, or in other ways, um, small and large, collective and individual, we've, we've stepped up. Uh, what I will say uh, is uh, this, though. Um, we need to do more. Uh, there is more to be done. There are plenty of people who don't have power. In fact, it's most of the island right now. There are plenty of people who aren't, uh, who don't have access to clean water, uh, never mind shelter. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done. We need to do, we need to do our part to send goods over, to, to, um, to figure out ways that people can get plugged into life in the United States because many will come to the mainland. Um, and we need to figure out, we need to figure out how our federal government, we need to be advocates for our federal government that they need to step up in a big way. Uh, and that is, we have a, an island that is heavily in debt right now, very heavily in debt, uh, and will need help getting out of its predicament. I have faith in the spirit of, uh, of the Puerto Rican people. I believe that. I know I've many Puerto Rican friends, uh, and many of them are here, and I know uh, the kind of grit they have And I know that uh, with, with the appropriate support that every American community would rightfully expect, that they're going to be able, they're going to be just fine. But that's what they need. They do need support. If a hurricane hit New Bedford tomorrow, uh, we would hope that folks would step up for us. We do get hurricanes too. Uh, thankfully, not, not as big as Hurricane Maria, but we do, we, do have, we do have those challenges from time to time. And when it happens, people have stepped up for New Bedford. Let's do the same thing here. Let's do it, let's do it here because that's the kind of community we are. I want to do, but by the way, so I, I, there are a lot of people to thank. Uh, there are a, number, a few people that I want uh, to, uh, to come on up here and say a few words. I do want to thank uh, Edwin. Everybody knows Edwin for, uh, all, for all of his work in the community, for United New Bedford, for uh, the work he does uh, in the near North End, and for the relief efforts that he's been involved in, uh, including Hurricane Harvey relief even before Hurricane Maria showed up on the shores of 
Puerto Rico. So I really would just ask everybody to give Edwin a, a hearty round of applause. I want to thank the, uh, the sentiments of um, our, our city council. Our city council is Hugh Dunn and Dana Ribeiro, Linda Morad, Naomi Carney are all here. The city council feels exactly the same way uh, I do about this. Um, we all, we're all in it together. I want to thank our, our city agencies who are, uh, have already been uh, welcoming uh, students, uh, particularly in the school department, students from Puerto Rico who have moved up even in the last week. We've had a number, about a, about 10 students that entered the school district as of Wednesday, and probably even more than that, just in the last couple of days. So you know, we're, they're doing their part. They're set up for that. Uh, but we know that um, you know, we, we need to be ready for more, of course. So, uh, and I want to thank also our efforts of our police department uh, along the way uh, as well. Uh, it's going to take a community effort, but that's what our friends in Puerto Rico deserve. So with all that, let me, uh, let me ask our police chief, Joe Cadero, uh, to come on up and say a few words. Chief. Thank you, uh, Mayor. A few words that I know in Spanish, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> Gusto mucho a las camisetas unidos. Gracias a Dios por la ayuda de Dios, gracias a Dios por el amor de Dios, gracias a Dios por la ayuda de ustedes todos, una comunidad unida. Sí. So that's about the extent of my Spanish, but uh, this is a, a, a sad day and a beautiful day. A sad day for those that are suffering in Puerto Rico, but it's a beautiful day to show how great, how great the people are in New Bedford and how big your hearts are to come here together, for us to stand together and to uh, pray, gather supplies, and even monetary gifts. You can give monetary gifts through the New Bedford Credit Union still today to help those that are suffering in Puerto Rico. Uh, going forward, there's people that are coming from Puerto Rico right here to the city of New Bedford. So whatever we can do to welcome them and help them and help their transition here to our welcoming city goes a big, big way. I want to thank uh, Detective uh, Gene Forts, Edwin Cartagena, and all those other people that I, too, too many names, Maria Rosario, I see her standing in front of me, uh, and so many other names that help put th th this together and spear this together. What a beautiful city and a beautiful community we have. It's too bad we have to uh, see this kind of devastation for us to come together. So as we go forward, let's continue to help those folks in Puerto Rico, those that are coming here. Let's have our arms open to them and to help them. And uh, let's think about today, every day, in our daily activities, how we can help one another. So, a sad day and a beautiful day. Mucho gusto to todos las personas de Puerto Rico, huh? All right, he's really showing off with the Spanish skills, and I'm a little, I'm a little embarrassed myself. Um, I do know muchas gracias, though, the most important words. Um, so I, I do want to say a couple of things. I want to recognize Tony Cabral, our state rep, uh, the state rep for very many Puerto Ricans in our city. Tony has been a huge supporter of the efforts. Um, I do want to say say this: there there are ways, and I, I neglected to mention this in my my remarks, but it bears emphasizing. Um, people have asked, like, so how do I help? There are ways. You can call the mayor's office. We can point you in the right direction. There are places like the Salvation Army uh, and the Red Cross as well that are doing an awful lot. We want to make it easy on people to give. And so don't hesitate to pick up the phone because uh, we want to make it happen. We want to facilitate that aid because, again, as the chief noted, we're a city with a big heart and we want to make sure we act on that. With all that, speaking of big hearts, I want to call on my, my friend Edwin uh, for a few words. Come on up. First of all, I want to I want to thank the mayor for the support, Chief Cordero, um, Gene Forts, and City Council members. I want to thank you guys for making it out today to stand in solidarity with Puerto Rico during this unimaginable difficulty. Many of us, even today, have yet to speak with our families in Puerto Rico, and even though it is potentially one of the greatest catastrophes to shake our people, it has not broken our spirits and our faith in God.
People everywhere, and specifically Puerto Ricans, have risen above the circumstances as resilient people amidst chaos and uncertainty. The devastation has brought us together on the island and the mainland to be there for one another, help each other, mentally, emotionally, physically, and together we have demonstrated to be stronger than we have ever been. We have together collected over half a million pounds of supplies, food, water that is on its way to Puerto Rico as we speak. This is how we rise. This is how we overcome. I urge you, the community, to continue to help in any way, but above all, continue to pray. Seguimos unidos por Puerto Rico, y con Dios se levantará. So let me, uh, let me now call up, uh, on behalf of the City Council, uh, Ward 4 Councilor Dana Ribeiro to say a few words. Dana. Thank you. Hi everyone, hello my brothers and sisters out there. Uh, just to echo what, uh, what was said already in much more eloquently than I, I will be saying. Uh, you're very strong people. I uh, draw strength from you every day in my friendships and uh, admire your history and what you bring to our country, all of our countries. And uh, I know we're going to get through this together. It's, it's not going to be easy, but the women that I know, my Puerto Rican sisters, I know your strength. I admire your integrity, and I know if I ever need anybody on my side, and it's not a Criolla, it's sure well going to be one of my Puerto Rican sisters. I admire the way you've come together, and I know, it, like I said, it's going to be tough, but we're a family, we're all here for you, and we're going to continue to be here for you. So thank you for being a light and example to all of us. I love you. All right, now what we'd like to do um, uh, the flag raising. I think Luz Ortega is here. Uh, where is she? So, come on up. So Luz is going to do the Puerto Rican national anthem. And then we have, uh, I think we have someone who's going to do the flags for us. Who's going to? Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, go ahead. So we've got to do the American flag first. So it's part American versus Latin. All right, so we'll do the Puerto Rican anthem, and because the flags are at half staff, we'll go all the way up and then all the way back down to half staff. That's uh, that's the protocol. And uh, without any further ado, I didn't know you were so talented. Uh, I'm not. I just have a heart for my people, and I'll try my best. Good. It'll be great. It'll be great. Love. Tierra de Borinquen, donde he nacido yo. Es un jardín florido del mágico primo. Un cielo siempre nítido que sirve de dosis y dan arrullos. Placidos, las olas a sus pies cuando a su playa llegó Colo. Exclamó lleno de admiración. Oh, 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 oh. Esta es la linda tierra que busco yo. Es Borinquen, la hija, la hija del mar y el sol, 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 del mar y el sol. All right, the 
bring it back down to half. There we go. Right there, right there. Perfect. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. And now to sing uh, the national anthem of the United States is now the former, recently former, Miss New Bedford, Olivia Marks. Olivia, take it away. She's not Miss New Bedford anymore. She didn't forget how to sing. That was fantastic. <laughs> Luz, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, my God. She's so modest. Uh, thanks, everybody. Remember, there are ways to help spread the word. Facebook, face-to-face, -face, even better. But let, let everybody know that they can help. Uh, there are ways to do that. And there are easy ways to, very convenient ways to do it. So let's all, let's get all get in the game because it'll make a difference in people's lives. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.